PC gaming is nothing like console gaming. For a start, you don't have a controller. Anyone can tell you that one. As some of you may know, I recently bought a gaming PC for just over £400, and it's still got reasonable specs for the low budget. It has an Asus 6770, an Asus motherboard, Intel i3, a CX430 Corsair power supply, 4GB of RAM, and a Bit Phoenix Survivor case. After a few weeks of racing the rival for this stuff, it was all built and all ready. I managed to build it from seeing my stepbrother play around with his PC like a child with Lego. And I plugged it all in, HDMI into the TV, power supply into the TV, and now it was time for the truth. I flicked the switch on the back of the, of the power supply and heard the whine of the electronics starting. But it was a high pitched sound, I didn't think much of it. Next was to flick the switch connected to the motherboard as I was running the test bench because my case wasn't arriving until the next day. The bias and splash screen gloriously glowed on the TV. It worked. The first launch is always the nervous one for any computer builder. It's a moment of truth within your build. After that first stage, all is easy. Install an OS, Windows 7 for myself. But in this case, other people like a Linux Ubuntu or Mint. They're widely available and free. Then to install the drivers or plugins, things like Adobe Flash or DirectX. I was all done, all done and complete. I slowly built up my game library, as usual for myself, with any kind of gaming console or PC. I'd already had Left 4 Dead 2 from when I bought it on the map, which was basically the foundation of PC gaming for myself. Playing that taught me the skills of WASD and using my mouse for aiming. But this was the basics, this was simple. I didn't think there'd be much more to it apart from that. Then I bought Modern Warfare 3 on Steam, eagerly awaited 6 hours download time and jumped on it straight away. That same Modern Warfare 3 tune greeted me into the game. My first match was on Carbon. I noticed straight away it was nothing like Left 4 Dead control wise. It was extremely hard for me to get used to a few other keys, and learning where they are, I mean after all, each key felt the same. I was constantly getting killed, I could barely shoot around, and then the minute I'd shoot around, boom, I'd be dead. My KD was negative from game to game. I slowly started to get used to the pace and the other keys on my mouse. My KD was improving, but I wasn't enjoying it anywhere near as much as I did on console. I was raging more in one session on PC than I ever had on my PlayStation. Gaming on my PlayStation was more of a time to relax. It's where I could just sit down, sit in front of the TV, and blast some noobs asses. But on PC, it's completely different. A whole new story, whole new level. In about a week of playing Modern Warfare 3 on PC, I started impl improving slowly. My KD was becoming positive, and the buttons are becoming easier to manage. Happy days. All of this has taught me a fair bit, mainly try it before you buy, which I've done in the past, but I thought it would be safe with this one. I see my stepbrother play Battlefield on his PC, and it looks really good. If you're ever going to buy a PC for gaming, I would consider, if you're thinking about taking it and using it to take place of your console, so selling your Xbox or your PlayStation, I think very carefully and very deeply about this, because you may regret it a lot. I did regret it a bit, admittedly. And gaming on PC is nothing like on console, and that's something that I found very hard to get used to. And it, I'm still finding it kind of hard. I'm about oh, two weeks into having my PC you now, and I do kind of miss my PlayStation a bit. In fact, I even bought an Xbox 360 plug-in controller for my PC. I find that I have to get more software just to run it. It's just a whole lot more of a nightmare. But if you're happy with a keyboard and mouse, then it's a perfect combination. The graphics are better, and also you can upgrade your PC as you go. You don't have to wait for the next PlayStation or the next Xbox. You can just go and spend £300 on a new graphics card. Admittedly, it is expensive, but you are playing, paying for quality. And also, you can plug it into your TV just like a console, so why not? This game, in the background though, is probably one of my best gameplays. I, like I tell you, I struggle with Modern Warfare 3. Um, and this, this one in the background, I think I managed to get 23 kills, um, so I was quite chuffed with that. But I recently bought Battlefield 3 the other day, and I plugged it in, I, I am loving it. It's 
absolutely brilliant game and I'm finding it a lot more easier to play than Modern Warfare 3 on PC. Perhaps it's because it's more slow paced, but even with the more faster place in, in like containers and things, I have my shotgun out and I'm blasting the hell into everyone. And I'm loving it, I'm having a really good time playing it. And like Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 3 still has a lot of issues that need to be fixed, and Treyarch fix their games, as Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer just don't seem to be doing anything. There's bugs and things that need to be fixed that have been needed to fix since the launch and they still haven't. There's things like Black Ops, they generally flip, fix their, their bugs within a couple of days, maybe a week late, um, but they would be fixed really, really quickly. Um, which is something which I don't like about Modern Warfare 3 or any try, um, any Infinity War game. They don't update their games. They don't fix their bugs. Modern Warfare 1, the first one, COD 4, is still really buggy. People just go on it just for the fun, but COD just never did update it. They never fixed it. Um, that is one of the biggest letdowns for any Modern Warfare 3 series. Battlefield, on the other hand, still has its bugs, yes, and it still has its downs. But they manage to maintain their games, they keep more more updates, they you know, they take care of the games and when they do bring an update, it's a big update, they bash a lot into that update. So overall I'm actually enjoying Battlefield 3 more. And like I say, if you think about getting a PC for gaming, think deeply about it. I'm not saying you shouldn't, because you know, buying my gaming PC has been amazing. I absolutely love it. Don't get, don't get it wrong. But so, I'll leave you with that note. Think deeply before you buy. UAV online. Our pay blow inbound. Enemy care package incoming. Watch our six. Enemy UAV spotted. Assault drone inbound. <sighs> UAV online. Care package on the way. <laughs> <laughs> 